Hi, friends. Hi. It is I, Paige the Puppet, with another All Ages video for my friends. In this video, you are going to learn the three times of year it is easiest for small business owners and newbies to get media coverage for their for their business. Uh, so if you are short on time and you need to, you know, like just get to the information, you can check out the uh, timestamps that are right next to me now. And they are also in the uh, description area so that you can get around real, real easy. Okay? Okay. Know what you want and never give up. Don't try to pull Champagne marketing on a beer budget. It's business advice from Paige the Puppet. Hi, friends! If you are a returning viewer, welcome back. You are so awesome and I love you. If you're new here, hi, nice to meet you. If you're a creative, independent, small business owner who loves puppets and detests direct sales, I think you're going to love me. I am Paige the Puppet. My purpose is to empower, educate, and be a transparent example of a creative, independent business owner. With the help of Mama, who is a skilled communicator with over 20 years of experience and certifications in small business coaching, training, facilitation, economic development, communications, and leadership. She likes to learn and share what she learns. Her name is Patricia with a Y. We want to support and inspire you through reviews, interviews, deep dives, and lessons that will help you build your business skills. If that sounds good to you, like this video and be sure to click on the bell so you can be notified when I upload or go live. Now that we have that out of the way, I need to do a couple of disclaimers before I dive into today's content. Well, I am a certified business coach by proxy. I am not your small business coach unless you hire me specifically. So all the information in this video and any video I produce is generalized. Please consult the appropriate professionals for your circumstances. Well, this video is not sponsored. This is a money-making venture. So I do make liberal use of affiliate links here and on my website. And I do encourage you to hire Mama or buy one of her courses to support this channel. And now that we have that out of the way... <laughs> Before I begin, I must make it clear that if you have a newsworthy, relevant story, you can get coverage any time of the year. But there are three times of year that we have noticed where it is a little bit easier for those who are new and quirky to get media coverage. 
the thing that is the same about these times of year is it tends to be times when uh, typical experts are unavailable and when journalists are operating with skeleton crews and junior staff. So if you as a flexible, independent small business owner can be available and have a newsworthy, relevant angle to work with, these times of year can be really beneficial for you. And those times of year are the week between Christmas and New Year's, the week of spring break or early spring in your area, and the hottest weeks of the year in your area over the summer. So this may be anywhere between the end of June and the middle of August. These times are times when experts will tend to be away, or the ordinary experts, you know, the people that they usually go to uh, at the media outlets may be unavailable during this time. And as I said before, uh, the organization might be on a skeleton crew and junior staff. Uh, so the summertime one does require a bit of knowledge about your community and the uh, journalists and organizations. But if you can figure that out, you have a golden time to approach with your newsworthy and relevant story. So what is newsworthy and relevant? Well, that's a topic for a future episode. But I will tell you that next week we will be sharing the three biggest mistakes that small business owners make when it comes to uh, attracting media coverage and what you can do to fix them. We don't like delivering problems without a solution, so we will be talking about uh, how you can fix those if you find that you uh, have succumbed to one of those mistakes in your small business. Uh, and if you say, if you're sitting there and you're going up a page, I don't care about getting free publicity. I don't want newspapers or radio stations or magazines or podcasts or anyone uh, to uh, give me free coverage in their uh, in their media. Uh, can you do something else that's relevant to small business? Drop your idea in the comment section below and I will get to it soon. But I really do hope you'll reconsider because Publicity is easy, and if you do it yourself, it's totally free. And if you don't uh, want to do it yourself, there are many experts that can do it for a reasonable cost. It really is uh, one of the pillars of champagne marketing on a beer budget. Uh, so I just want to leave you with that. That is my episode for this week. The top three times again uh, are... The week between Christmas and New Year's, the week of spring break, and the two hottest weeks of summer in your area. Okay, so those are the times when you uh, can really take advantage of being quirky and unique and being available. I hope you enjoyed this episode and that it was helpful to you. If you have a suggestion for a future episode, drop it in the comments below or send me an email, page at pagethepuppet.com. So I hope you'll join me next week. And in the meantime, if you're a creative, independent, small business owner who'd like to learn more about any of the topics I covered today, make sure you subscribe to this channel. And if you want to fast track your learning curve, book an appointment with Mama. The link is in the description. Till next time, my friends, have an amazing rest of the week. Bye for now. Bye. Bye. Now watch.
you want and never give up. Don't try to pour from an empty cup. Champagne marketing on a beer budget. It's been